Well, we made it. We're in the dry dock. And when I say we, I mean me and Ganymede. <laughs> so let's go have a look. she is and apparently this whole system lifts up and the water will drain out so it's kind of like a two-part process but it's quite cool these sides lift up and I'm assuming the water will sort of disappear but I think it'll take quite a long time but at the moment we're still floating there she is I brought the uh, internet to the front, well, to the back, but to the front of the dock to try and get some airwaves. And it is actually working. I'm video editing as we speak. I'm just saving it now. So I thought I'd come out and grab a video of this um, to put in next week's video. Because um, I'm going off the boat for a couple of days. It's a Friday. Uh, sorry, it's not. It's a Thursday. <laughs> uh, I'm off work tomorrow, so I've got a day off. Um, for the survey and blacking but as soon as the survey is done I'll leave the boat in their capable hands and I will go and stay with my folks for a couple of days um, while they do the work and hopefully nothing bad will show up on the survey but who knows fingers crossed um, but whatever happens I will keep you all posted back down for dinner now I think and there we go, empty mostly of water. There's my tiller and everything's dangling. I'm not sure I'll be able to get any footage of the actual work, uh, blacking or survey. But we'll see, I might be able to, um, but I need to be off the boat um, in a couple of hours after the survey. I'm gonna go get some lunch, I think. I slept really badly because of the noise of the pump pumping water out of this um, dock. So I am so tired. Um, but I'll put the kettle on and just gonna get myself sorted, wait for everybody to arrive. Hopefully they'll get sorted soon so that the survey can be over and done with and then I can I can go and get some get some rest. <laughs> but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. If I can get any footage I will do. It was a bit weird earlier because I kind of like swayed, um, you know how you do when you're on a boat. Um, and I thought, oh that's weird. I'm I'm imagining that because the boat's not moving, it's it's sitting in the dock. And then when I was looking out of the back door, um out there at the rest of the world I think you can just about see something um it was moving and then I remembered that this is actually a floating dock so the boat may not be moving but the dock is so I'm moving <laughs> it's a really weird feeling the upper panels have been lifted up and they're going to start hosing soon I'm hiding on my boat till the survey's been done Surveyor has arrived and we've had a chat and he's checked in the engine bay and he'll do the hull after they've washed it and then he'll do the inside and check like gas and electrics and things like that. Looks cool from the front. Right, here's my propeller and it looks a lot smaller than it did when I had my hand stuck down the weed hatch the other day. Look at all that beautiful weed. <laughs> Very pretty. Ah, there's one of my anodes. They look pretty good, I think. Not too bad. Let's have a look along.
another anode. A lot more weeds on this side, which is interesting. Um, this was the side next to the pontoon, so maybe that's got something in it. I've got a veritable garden growing here. Check this bit out. <laughs> Time to leave now. Got my bags. And I'm going to climb out the front of the boat. This way. Bye, Ganymede. See you in a few days. Good luck. It's always the strangest times when one decides to do some work. Uh, it's nine o'clock at night. I was watching The Witcher and I just put the kettle on and it was this really windy outside so I thought I'd just check the weather, blah blah blah, time goes on and I decided I'd come and try and fix the front. So I broke the door um, when I tried to, I had to get out of using the front the other day and yeah I broke it, couldn't open the door, got stuck inside the boat, <laughs> had to use a screwdriver to prise the Yale lock and basically what I've just had this epiphany that I might have done something with the key rather than the locks actually broken. So I fiddled with the key on the outside and voila, now it works again. So <laughs> don't ask. Um, but what I am doing is before I put the um, locking plate back together, which is um, this little plate here, which the lock, the Yale lock goes to, um, it goes to, it goes on this bit of the wall, the wall here and it never fitted very well. Um, it can't, you can't really see because it's, as I say, it's nine o'clock, it's dark, uh, but it never fitted very well. I don't think they'd, whoever fitted it hadn't taken enough wood out. So I decided, well, I've got to put it back together again now. I might as well chip away some of the wood. So that's what I'm doing now. It was a stupid time to do it, but there we go. Um, yeah, making lovely mess as usual. <laughs> Here's where that plate goes, just in here, like that. And I'm just chipping away some more of the wood to set it further back so that the lock doesn't catch. Every time you shut the door, the, the lock was cat the door was catching on it, so I just need to set it a bit further back. Okay, it's not perfect, um, but it doesn't catch now, so before it was uh, catching on here this was fouling on it. Now it doesn't foul but it doesn't kind of properly shut either so it's not actually engaging but if you slam it then it does. Um, so it still needs a bit of adjustment but at least for now it locks so we'll leave it like that for now. Last week someone commented um, about my obligatory DIY plaster. Um, I have another one this week but this is not from DIY. I smushed my finger in the bathroom door. So the bathroom door is a sliding door and it was bound to happen eventually, wasn't it? Look at that. I opened it and I was careless and left my finger in there and smushed it right in there. It really hurts. <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody. I'm sorry it's not been too exciting. I mean the blacking might have been exciting um, but because I was off the boat sort of most of the week, good chunk of the week, um, I haven't actually done much on here at all. Um, so sorry about that but thank you for watching. It's been great to have you. Next week I bought some stuff today. So I bought some uh, clear silicon so might be doing some. I'm gonna fill up some holes because there are so many spiders on this boat because there's just so many holes. So I'm just gonna kind of go along the floor and, and just fill some of them. I bought some hooks because I don't know if you just noticed, but just before this section of the video, um, there's there's a bit, I'm in the bathroom and the eagle-eyed will spot a single white hook on the wall. There were two and I, they, they're like little sticky, sticky pads. Um, but when I had a shower the other day, the sort of, um, 
dampness just made the wool really slippy and it just fell straight off. So <laughs> I've, I've put that in the kitchen with a new sticky pad to put keys on, but I bought some kind of um, screwy hooks, I'll show you, because uh, they're right here. Uh, these these sorts um, so I'm just gonna screw a uh, sorry drill a little pilot hole and then screw them in but also I might get the survey report so um, so they did tell me that it looks like the base plate needs some plating some work so we're just gonna see what he says um, in the report and then ring around and get some quotes so We'll see. I'll talk about that. If I can get hold of the report, I can have a chat to you about what that has in it. Another thing I'd like to ask advice about, my cratch cover on the front um, is really tight. It shrunk and um, I think the previous owner said it was um, a mohair one. I just assumed canvas, but no, that's not true. Um, so has anybody got any advice about unshrinking a cratch cover because I can't actually close it anymore I've had to do this DIY job on that which is a right bodge job I'll show you in a second um because it's it's got poppers on it's not bungees and the poppers it's too small now to reach half the poppers so I don't like to open it to, like for a blow through for example because I can't get it back on um so I'll, I'll go show you that here we are at the front and you can see how this cratch cover um like I just can't I can't get it to match up anymore but look at my amazing bodge job so this was just flapping in the wind the other day and I've just hooked some elastic bands around there and tied it around there and at least it stops like it holds it enough that the rain won't get in but it's so much smaller than it should be I mean that doesn't go there's no way that's going to match there um, and the same with like here um, you know, it's too tight to get the zips down now and you can see how it's how it's rubbing. Um, and also, you can't see from the inside, but where it attaches to the boat, um, some of them are ripping because it's so tight. So any advice on that? If anyone's got some bright ideas, I'd be really keen to hear them. Well, that's it for today, folks. Thanks again. And we'll see you next week.